Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, I decided to better look at this organized crime, right? <laughs> but when I opened this encyclopedia, it talked about nutrition. Yes. Now, um, oh, look at New York City. Oh, Harlem, a section of Manhattan, has long been a center of African-American businesses. <laughs> I had emailed the Bishop Sims there in Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> Told him I was having some spiritual difficulties because of my want to live in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Seems like a lot of individuals that are a lot bigger than myself thought it was a bad idea. Ouch. Bishop Sims. <laughs> are you still there in Harlem? <laughs> it's Paul. <laughs> you know, I realize that... <laughs> Usually where there's the greatest amount of sin in the population, <laughs> not to say that Harlem has the greatest amount of sin, but where there is the greatest amount of sin of the actual citizens, yes, it can be the darkest. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not talking skin color, I'm talking oppression, yes, but there is the greatest amount of light also. <laughs> Now, my thought when I contacted Bishop Sims is I needed some individuals that understand about oppression and being defenseless and not having your rights enforced. And it could be that in Harlem, that happens to be in New York State, yes, that some of the African Americans that, that live there, yes, might have. <laughs> now, I know. <laughs> I went looking into Compton, too, Pope, <laughs> and uh, it seems that it's very oppressive in different parts of the United States, but where you have the greatest amount of oppression, <laughs> you receive the greatest amount of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> now, maybe Bishop Sims Church is doing good, mm -hmm. but I did actually contact a school, an elementary school in Harlem, yes. I thought that we should have hot lunches the way that I like to eat instead of the way that the government's been feeding them. <laughs> Could you get me the actual food service of every elementary school in the United States of America? See, this thought, yes, that children really don't need to have casseroles and... Uh, cakes and fresh salads. I had planned on redoing the school district. This HHO gas that I told you about yesterday that's really good at disintegrating plastic in oceans, it can actually be used as a, a type of oven that can be useful in the heating systems of cold schools, yes, where it gets very cold in the winter. Now, I'm kind of thinking it's that type of year that in Harlem, yes, some of the schools, they don't really have that good of heating infrastructure. <laughs> My thought was I'd put in some ovens that are HHO gas ovens. <laughs> I'd uh, pre-make uh, casseroles from fresh ingredients. Yes. And then I'd use the heat from the ovens. I'd wind scrub the actual heat from the ovens so as to heat the schools. That way, when you got to school in Harlem, the food would taste good and the school would be warm. Mm -hmm. Now, we have this real big difficulty in school districts. Yes, they don't want to embrace new innovations. <laughs> and their whole thought of nutrition is you can get an apple, a little thing of milk, and some sort of sandwich. <laughs> I had seen what the government thought, and then I thought <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> now, how do you do it? <clears throat> You know, I looked at the the schools of the United States. Nutrition. Oh, there it is. Nutrition. Oh, my gosh. The actual food that is fed to each and every student in each school, both breakfast and lunches. Yes. Why don't you get me all the poor students in every school of the United States? That because of the poverty line, they don't have to pay for breakfast and lunch because their parents are poor. Mm -hmm. Now, your thought is there are a bunch of eaters and they should all be in the fam. Well, if you do some small improvements to elementary schools, the oven itself could be used as a furnace to heat the school if you understand how to engineer it. And the food service of America's schools... Why don't you just tell right now? Now, these students, yes, they're, um, they're somewhat important to me, Poach. And I've heard of all the bullshit reasons why you have. 
You know, I watched a show last night about America's higher education. Yeah. Then I spent a little time thinking about it. And did you know that a lot of people shouldn't go to college or university until, oh, their 20s. From 18 to 25, they, they call themselves adults, but they don't have that fully matured male or female mind. Yes. Now, my thought was we needed more labor in the workforce. Yes some projects that I wanted to do, yes, where I thought I would just sue to have the government removed, and then we would all do what I want. <laughs> now, let's say these two and a half million employees, yeah, many of them will be union, and when you work in time and a half and double time, ooch, you work three months on and one month off. <laughs> you work 11-hour uh, shifts, yes, you're making $100,000 a year. <clears throat> now, we need a higher education where you don't think, well, I'm going to go to some trade school, right? And I'm going to get this really good job. <laughs> what we need is a little renovating of the United States of America. <laughs> the, uh, well, redesigning of the actual railroads. Yes. <laughs> we'll just move them around a little bit and that'll give us some work for the next couple decades. <laughs> and then those that join my union, Paul Budnick's union, they can work for that union if they belong to any other union. <laughs> See, these things of fruits, vegetables, grains, and proteins, and dairy. Yeah. Choosemyplate.gov. Yes, let's call it Choose My Plate Paul. <laughs> this is a hot casserole right here. <laughs> This is a large amount of cakes or pies. Yes, this is some sort of vegetables, right? And then the meat is actually in the casserole. Yes. Now, dairy, yes. I'm not a big fan of providing milk in schools. I myself am lactose intolerant. Did you know yeah, that after about eight or nine years old, I realized that when I was eating a bowl of cereal, it caused me to be stoved up so that I could not defecate the way that I wanted to. <laughs> What if instead of milk, yes, we had a large chunk of cheese for each and every lunch? Yes, sharp cheddar cheese, <laughs> white sharp cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh, you're black. <laughs> now, the thought is we should have sausages, we should have cheeses, we should have casseroles, and then we should have large cakes and pies, yes, and then a big salad for yourself with all the fixings so that when you go to school, <laughs> 